Hey sis, so your girl got influenced by TikTok again. Like this time, this fire quick weave mullet, let's get into it. So I went to my beauty supply store and I got this outre hair here. You know, your typical 27 piece hair. This is just the brand that I decided to pick up because I think it was like the cheapest, but they had so many more that you can choose from. Honestly, I've never done a 27 piece on myself and I was pretty surprised with all the pieces that came with it. So not too much in my comment section because this is my first time. And girl, I had to send a prayer to Jesus. Please let this turn out good. And it did. So I got a black stocking cap and I did my braids really small so I can have it pretty flat um i've seen a lot of people like actually mold their hair but braids made more sense to me and since i didn't use any like morning glory or any type of protecting from the glue i just used a lot of this holding spray because this holding spray works really 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 good so i used that all over i did a couple layers to make sure that the glue didn't stick and y'all i used this entire bottle of glue here right now i'm just outlining where the 27 piece hair is going to go so it's going to go on the two outsides and then the track hair in the middle so just if you're afraid to use glue don't do this style don't tell me in my comments i would not do that because girl i don't care i did and it came out fine just use a lot of conditioner and it come right out so i started off with the shortest piece of hair um to do my sides and this part was really really tricky i ain't gonna even hold y'all because it was it was super tricky and i was trying to hurry up so not only was i rushing to drive to virginia to take my mama to her doctor's appointment girl i was trying to do this 27 piece but it came out really really good i'm so excited so um you're really supposed to put your tracks really really close together that's how they used to do it back in the day but honestly i didn't need that much because i didn't want it too too thick so i got a couple pieces on the side and i'm really just going like from side to side section to section just trying to mimic each side um i was using a handheld mirror if you can kind of see here which was even more of a struggle um i should have used like two mirrors so that i could use two hands instead of one and use longer pieces like you see that top piece at first i was starting off with little baby pieces now you can see me kind of using longer pieces which was which that just worked out way better so learn from my mistakes if you do decide to do this style because it was really easy anybody can do it just make sure you have two mirrors and use two hands so that um you can see so in the back you really do have to use small little sections and then you can continue with the long sections and i only had that one little piece left um for the shorter piece so this is the medium length um of the 27 piece that i'm adding and with those sections you can see i'm using longer strips of the track hair to get it from the front to the back so make sure you are doing that as well and mine is a little slanted i don't know why i was doing stuff at an angle but i guess i just really couldn't see <laughs> so again make sure you're using two mirrors if you do decide to do this yourself now i really fell in love with this hair because it was so soft and it was so curly it made me want to like do my entire head with the 27 piece to get that little short cut going on since it is springtime like this is just the perfect style but yeah so i'm just gonna finish that off with adding the track hair all the way up till i meet the little line that i did at first with the glue and it's funny because this style they actually used to wear back in the 90s and 80s probably because when i went home my mom was like oh my god i used to do my hair like that i was like okay girl but you know tiktok will come with the trends honey they gonna bring it back so right here i'm just using my razor comb going through and cutting my hair you need this razor comb just don't go in with no scissors like you really need some type of razor or some type of um clippers to cut your hair because i end up using clippers too but i did that off camera because girl i was struggling so in the back i'm still using the razor comb to kind of get it a little shorter and taper the hair so that it's actually looking like you know i have a haircut pretty much and then i decided to go in with my scissors why did i do that because girl i cut my ear like i was so shocked like how in the world did i cut my ear so 
I ended up nipping it with the scissors. I put them bad boys down and went back to my little razor comb. And like I said, after this, I got off camera and started using some clippers. And that's how I kind of got it a little bit shorter. I had to go in the bathroom and get close to the mirror because, yeah, you understand. Now I'm going in with the bundle hair. And I was using really short, tiny pieces and just adding that in any old kind of way. Just put it on in there. Um... Again, I wish I had a mirror like I'm really going to go on Amazon after this video and get me one of those 360 mirrors because I need it. Even though I could have just went in my room and got a bigger mirror to put in front of me, I didn't. I don't know why. So my tracks was like a little slanted, but it still came out good and you really couldn't tell. And I was saving time by adding the glue onto my stocking cap and plus i wasn't worried about the glue hitting my hair because i did so many layers of the holding spray so there was a barrier between my hair and the glue so that that's another way to speed up the process is to just add the glue directly onto the stocking so this is how much space that i had left before i started to add the short bang pieces in the front so now i'm just adding the third bundle that came with the 27 piece which is the longest add my glue and then just adding my pieces in the front and another little helpful tip when you are adding these front tracks make sure you are curving them all the way so that you can more so create a circle because i kept doing mine like kind of straight across which i should have been curving it up which you'll kind of see what i'm talking about in just a little bit so adding more glue adding more tracks you see it's starting to get its shape it's getting full it's looking good so like right here you can see that i should have been curving it around but then i went in with like some small little snippets of track to like fill in the size like right here where i should have just curved it more to create a circle so i can add that um middle little closure piece that they added with the hair so that part yeah that's a learning experience and that was not enough space i'm pretty sure i added glue on top of the hair so now we adding this little closure piece i added a lot of glue because i didn't want homegirl to come up off my head and then I just popped that bad boy in the middle and that's it. Like blow dried it and that was all. And let me tell y'all, this style itch. I wore it for about four days and baby, that was about all I could take. I don't see how people can wear this. The hair was itching my neck and everything. So this is how I wore it the first day. Like I said, I was rushing to go home, take my mom to her doctor's appointment. So I just left it how it was right there. And I kept fluffing out the top and then just did like those little curls in the back. It was still cute like this, but that wasn't, that wasn't it. So I just wore it like that. And now this was, like I said, the next day or two days later, that I was like, let me add some side pieces to kind of fix it. So I still had a little bit of hair left over from the third bundle. And I just straightened that and straightened my side so it wasn't curled under looking crazy. And then added some more hair to get more of a tapered side piece. And like I said in the front, I left it the first day. So <laughs> girl, I thought I cut my nose again. I got scared. But I just went in with my little razor comb and cut it so that I could actually see and I didn't have to do so much fluffing. And girl, I was so excited because it came out so good. Like, this is my first time doing a 27 piece and I fell in love. Like, I would definitely do this style again. It's just that I don't know because it itched. My hair was itching, my ears was itching, my neck was itching with like that short hair. And then you see here, I'm going in with my small little flat irons to make my curls like a little tighter to give it like that look. I don't know, honey. It was just doing it for me like rock and roll, girl. I was ready to go. And this is the finished look. Let me know what you think down below because, baby, I was in love with this style. It came out so cute, like with the layers and like the curls and everything. Like, I was in love with it. Shout out to TikTok. Shout out to the girlies. Shout out to everybody that's doing this style. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave me a comment down below what you think about this style. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.